So Ivan would talk to anybody. He was quite a humble person. He was modest. And he, he never thought of himself as being any different. We call him the King Speedway now, but he didn't think like yeah. that. He was good at uh, helping a lot of riders. He, used, he would actually give his bike to a rider to use, even if they were in the opposite team. But he helped the young riders. He actually, the New Zealand riders, he mentored a few of them. He sponsored a few of them and encouraged them to go to England. He actually run the training schools from one end of New Zealand to the other. When he was 15, he left school and was working. So it was all a matter of saving. We say both of us were saving for him to go to Britain to race. And to go to Britain to race was the only thing to do if you wanted to be a world champion. Tracks were actually all over New Zealand. Mm. Christchurch was the big one, and it's where they brought all the overseas r riders right. to race, where Ivan got the idea, if these guys can come into town and be so great, I want to be like them. That's another reason why he wanted to go to England. When Ivan was racing, it was an individual world championship, mm -hmm. not a Grand Prix. Uh, it was a, a different way that they run it today. There was thousands and thousands of people watched. 120,000 at one of the tracks in uh, Poland, and 90 odd thousand at Wembley in England. Uh, whichever track it was, he knew it. He walked the track, he knew the track inside out before he ever raced on it. And if he went back there, he still walked the track. And it was like it, he felt it. And then he put his head down not always, but quite a lot of the time, he'd put his head down and just before he went out towards the tapes and he would see himself going over the finish line and it worked. And when he became world champion, he wasn't satisfied. It had to be another one and wow. another one. When he won the third one and the gentleman, Ray Bokerman, in California said to send the bike over, uh, that he would have it gold-plated if he won it. And then what was amazing, I Ivan thought, oh, he won't bother. Didn't bother contacting him. And then he got, those days we had telegrams and faxes and things mm -hmm. like that. And Ivan got word, we're waiting on the bike. So <laughs> he then sent the bike over to be gold-plated. I think he'd like to be remembered as a person that was man-made, that came from an ordinary family, an ordinary working class family, very little schooling, and he achieved. He achieved through hard work. And I, I can remember, actually, that when he was interviewed many times by young people when he arrived in Christchurch. One of the questions they asked was, what university did you go to? And I would say, I didn't. I didn't go to university. And at first I think he was a bit embarrassed, but then when he won the World Championships, he didn't care a hoot. 